Good morning and happy Monday. I have the giggles and no good reason why. And here we are. We are wearing our Teach Your Heart Out shirt. My ribs hurt today, honey. I don't know what I did. My ribs hurt, everything hurts and I'm dying. So had a good weekend. It felt very short as they do. Got a new lip thing that I thought I should show. It was a pack of two from EOS. I don't know if you say it EOS or EOS. I don't know. Anyway, it's strawberry. It's delicious. Not that I'm eating it because I'm not, but you know how you taste it when you put it on. So I'm taking one to work and I have one upstairs. So today is Monday and I cannot stop my brain. I don't know why. I mean, I don't want it to stop completely, but I can't make it just like stop singing songs and show tunes. Anyway, I bought something on Teachers Pay Teachers that I thought I would show you. This is from the Little Ladybug Shop and it came, it was on sale yesterday for only a couple bucks and I don't know what the regular price is, but I got it on sale because it just popped up on my screen and I just hit add to cart. So anyway, they're good. They are uh, three passages each times five different things. And this thing is main idea, different uh, standards. I knew there was a better word than thing. Anyway, this one is main idea. So you have the little text to read and then main idea, detail, detail, detail. Um, so we have one about mischievous, oh, I thought it was squirrels, chipmunks, mischievous chipmunks, squirrel, amazing fireflies, and seahorse, seahorses rare in the animal kingdom. So anyway, I'm excited to use those. Then I can't remember if I bought these or if they were freebies, but I don't remember. Anyway, these are from Lone Star Classroom and they are gonna be fun just for little morning things to do. Gotta keep them engaged. The last month is hard. We have five weeks, but the last five weeks are, are hard as are the first 33, so just so you know. Um, anyway, subject verb agreement, so they have to find the subject verb agreement word. So for instance, um, you have to circle the verb that needs to be changed. So earlier, Joe saw his little brother fall down, so he runs to help him. So runs would be ran, and then that's the word you find over here, there's 10 and there were two of them. I think that was it. So, you know, I feel like I might've bought this for a dollar. Anyway, then this I got a little while ago, but I have just recently printed it out. And it is from, I don't remember and it's not on here. I'll have to go back and, and find. But anyway, I love this format, it's simple. Um, it's for a nonfiction text that they can write about. Heading, heading, um, caption for a picture they draw, and then facts that they can write, amazing facts. And then the last one is uh, three to a page. So you would copy this for three kids, and then they would cut it out and put it on the top of one of these. So I love that. Just thought we could do that with um, an animal study or two. This is something I had to print out for our benchmark advance, um, probably next week. And then I got this cute little thing. It is by Kelly Benefield, I think. Anyway, I'll try to put it up here. It's just some cute, fun little things to do in the morning. I'm gonna have them sitting at their desk. This is just complete the picture. Just nothing but fun there. But just something to keep them engaged and thinking. Make all the words you can out of flowers. This is an end of school hidden message. Bye honey, love you. This is a flower power maze, just fun. 
I know, who am I having fun? Um, and then for my poetry, I bought this a while back. Um, it is by the, oh please, Teacher's Clubhouse. And this is, um, I had showed you before, we're gonna try to be better. We never did use the little cars and the little road I was gonna put up, I didn't. It was suddenly test prep o'clock and there I was. Anyway, little poem that she writes and then you visualize it. There's some writing that goes with it. Um, I should just hold the whole stack. Some writing that goes with it and then some comprehension questions. Literous, uh, literous, O-M-G. Literal versus non-literal language is, is a big thing. And now that we're toward the end of the year, they have a better grasp on it idioms, those kind of things. So comprehension check. Anyway, and then I have another one, another one of the poems. Oh, and then this is gonna be a long, sorry, I've gotta get out of here. There's an Earth Day one that we're gonna do today, a poem that is. And then this is another thing I bought just to spice it up. And there's a passage and an, uh, all kinds of comprehension things to do for sharks, octopus, dolphins, and that's it, I think. But this was by Tied to Teaching, and they're just gonna be fun for them. I'm gonna put them in groups, and they're gonna be, I'm gonna not really put them in groups, but I'm gonna let them choose sharks, octopus, or dolphins, and then they'll switch. See what I mean there? So like one day they'll do sharks, one dolphins, one, and then they that way they can work with buddies. So that is what I did this weekend. Also did a bunch of other stuff. Um, also got Sea Sister and I got my pellets for hormones. So yay, thank you sis. And we got to have lunch and it was fun. And now I'm going to work and oh, I've got to go, it's 6.40. Oh, it's always 6.41, that clock's fast, so it scared me a little bit. But I do have to go, and I will catch up with you later. Hello, I am Monday tired. We had a good day. It was a whole lot of talking, and they got in trouble at lunch for too much talking, not during lunch. They're allowed to talk, but holy moly, the lining up and walking away procedure has escaped them completely, apparently, because they're in trouble. So I hate that for them. But anyway, we made it. And I'm going to head out in a few minutes, go home and enjoy my evening. Maybe do some non-school related things. I have so much to grade though. Holy moly, it's crazy. But you know, it'll get done eventually. So, <laughs> or it won't. No, it will. It has to. Anyway, I'm going to get going, but I will see you in the morning. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday. My head hurts. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Ouch. Actually, more than my head hurts today. I'm not really sure. My back is super tight. So I've just been trying to kind of stretch already have taken an Excedrin migraine. So let's hope the day goes up from here. I'm not sure what that hand was doing. It's got a mind of its own as well as Squirty down here does. Yes. Um, yesterday, our day started with no internet for about four hours or so and that wasn't fun. Um, we were planning to give the iReady test. Yes, you heard me right, the test. Yesterday, but we could not because no internet. So today, that is our plan. Um, the reading is what we're planning to give just to get it out of the way. I'm making my lunch, if you wondered. Chicken. Um, so anyway, hopefully we can get that out of the way. Um, just based on what I've seen, I really hope they take it a little bit seriously. I'm not holding out too much hope. I don't want them to rush through it. I just want them to show, you know, growth that they've learned something this year. 
I know they have, but do the test people? I don't know. I need to get salt. So that's our day. And um, we have the math one too, but we'll worry about that another day. Um, what's a bummer about iReady, and I know I've said this before, but you cannot get on and use the platform at all if there's a test window without doing the test. So I couldn't say, hey, we're gonna just work on some lessons until Thursday and then we're gonna take the test. You cannot. It um, When you log on during test window, you have to do the test before anything else. So I'm not a fan of that. So I feel like we should be able to, within the window, set what day we want our kids to take the test and what day we want them to work on lessons. Um, in other news, do I have other news? Not really. Um, no, nothing. I have a meeting after school today and it's a good one. It's a good one. It is not at school, but I can't say anything else. It's not at school, but I have a meeting and I'm excited. And that's it. So that is pretty much our day. Test. I feel like a broken record. Um, oh, we did not start our Arizona choice boards that I showed you uh, last week. We didn't start them yesterday because we're still working toward finishing the uh, Westward expansion. We finished the gold rush yesterday, we have Transcontinental Railroad, and that is it. And then a test. It's fine. That kind of test, though, it's like test what they actually just learned. It's really different. That's all I have. So I will see you. Um, yes, I will still be able to hop on after school. That was loud and unexpected and totally unnecessary. Unless things go wonky. But... I'm a teacher. We could possibly go wonky. Shush. I will see you later. Hello. It is the end of the world as I know it. Just kidding. And I feel fine. Uh, end of the day on Tuesday. I got a bracelet today. I love it. I'm twinning with one of my little girls who gave it to me. Anyway, I am going to get out of here because... I have a meeting and I'm super excited. It's a really good fun meeting, but I can't talk about it yet. But coming up soon, I will. I know I'm such a teaser about that, but it's probably, sorry, I was reading an email. It's probably going to be in the next two weeks, three weeks. Can't wait. Anyway, I will see you in the morning. Um, today, nothing to report because all we did was testing. We did finish up our Westward Expansion booklet, so that was good news. And we're gonna do a couple little uh, day in the life of a pioneer journal entries, and that's about it. Then we're gonna move on to our Arizona Choice Boards. Probably not till next week now because I forgot this was testing week, yay. They all seem to be lately. Anyway, I will catch up with you in the morning. Good morning, happy Wednesday. I'm late. It's fine. So, getting lunch ready. Uh, today is our short day, but I have a meeting all day. So, yay! All afternoon, I mean. Um, has something to do with. I don't even know. Um, something civil rights related. I can't remember. Anyway, um, and that is going to be uh, this afternoon. So I won't have any work time. Just time for meetings. So that kind of stinks. Um, and then today with the kids, we have another test. I'm the giver of tests. I'm not a teacher, I'm a tester. Oh, please.
Okay, so today's test is the I Ready Math. So, uh, excited to have that done. The kids are excited to have that done. And that will be it, I believe. Could be wrong. But I think that's it for tests this year, which is good. Um, yeah, I think so. Anyway, um, we're going to do a little bit of Westward expansion. Just the fun um, journal pages where they crumple them up. And we haven't done it in weeks. And they missed it and they like it. So I told them we would do that. Um, let's see. I still have to add some salt to my chicken. And then make my shake here. Um, nothing else new going on. We're just making it through the days. I'm boring. I'm boring. I'm boring. Something is flying around the kitchen and maybe it was just my brain. Not my brain flying, but maybe my brain is awesome. My brain's flying around the kitchen this morning. Can someone please catch it? Bye, honey. Love you. Um, nothing planned for... Do I have anything planned for this weekend? No, I don't think so. Garage sale, of course. But I'm trying to think ahead, like, is anything coming up? No. And that's just how I like it. Um, we're in the loop about uh, father-in-law's health. It's not good. So, you know, those kind of things weigh heavy on the mind. And I'm just going to lean on the counter here. And that's really it. So we're kind of keeping our weekends open, um, you know, in case we need to take a trip up north, just cleaning, things like that. Nothing exciting. <laughs> but I'm going to go now. I'm going to go to work and maybe something exciting will happen there. Good exciting. Because there's a difference. <laughs> no. Um, and then choice boards. We're going to probably start those today. I'm going to talk about them today because the journal entries don't take 40 minutes, which is what I, 40 to 45 minutes is what I typically have for social studies and science. And then we're going to get back to engineering and science because we had to put that on hold for testing too. So I will catch up with you later at school. Good morning. Happy Thursday. I'm a bit perkier today. I think it's because the weekend's coming. No, I don't know, but the wind isn't bad today. I did take an Excedrin migraine already because I have a headache. <clears throat> My hair looks ridiculous today, but I thought it was windy, so I just put it back. But I didn't want it all the way back because my head hurts. So it's a science, really. It's the science of hair. Anyway, um, today is one of those days that is going to be an interesting, oops, interesting struggle at school because most of the students are done with their iReady math and reading, but I still have, I want to say about eight and some were due to absences and if they're not there today, then they obviously will not be online taking the test, but um, about eight for each, seven or eight that still have to, sorry, have to finish. So that is fun, trying to keep two thirds of the class quiet. And by fun, I mean, it's like stepping on a Lego at the top of the stairs, yeah. Anyway, we are, I've made the executive decision as the boss of my own life that we are going to start the choice boards today because I feel like it. <laughs> They're going to love it and it will be fun. Are you already done, honey? Mm -hmm. Oh, good job. <laughs> I work with eight-year-olds. I apologize. Also, some are nine, some are ten. But I think they will love the choice boards. We're going to decorate. This morning we'll decorate the folder where they'll keep all their papers and that is always fun. Artwork is fun. Artwork is fun. Dogs are getting a treat. 
Every time my husband finishes a meal, they get a treat. They love it when he eats a meal. So, bye honey, I love you. Uh, that's gonna be our fun today. I just kinda wanna have fun. And now that testing is officially almost over. No, nope, just kidding. <sighs> it just never stops. We do have one more test. I thought we were done and then I lied. Accidentally though, it wasn't on purpose. Um, we have the fluency test. Are you okay? The fluency test for reading, they have to read out loud to somebody. So at least it's like human involvement. Anyway, that is that is what's coming down the pike. And that is next week. Hold please, I had to get salt. Um, so that's not till next week. So I'm hopeful that that will be quick and painless. And that's all, that's all, that's it. That's all I have. I am losing it, man. We have four weeks in tomorrow, but our last week of school with kids, the last day is teacher only, teacher work day. I'm wearing my, if you've got a math problem, yo, I'll solve it shirt. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm not really though, because this is me. Yep. Um, was I saying? Oh, the last week of school, we don't have kids on Friday. It's teacher work day. So we have four weeks really exactly after today because tomorrow's Friday. Four weeks. Wow. What are you doing this summer? Anything good? I don't know what I'm doing. I will be definitely going to see Katie, barring any unforeseen things that prevent me from doing that. And then I don't know when she's going to be able to take time off to come here. They're doing some um, big things with the boat. And that's truly all I know because partly I'm not allowed to know things. Partly, even if she told me, I wouldn't understand the things. But with nuclear power and all the things, they are um, doing some kind of big stuff. And... Uh, because of that, and I think because of staffing, probably staffing seems to be a worldwide event right now. Um, they are not, they have blackout days where they cannot, or months where they can't request leave. I'm assuming if it's an emergency, but other than that, I don't think they can. But anyway, anyway, we are hopeful that I get to see her soon because I miss her. Katie, I miss you. Kayla, I miss you. Come see me. Anyway, that is, that is it. I'm going to head to school. I did not come on yesterday. I don't know why I said I would because it was Wednesday. Oh, we had a meeting. It was interesting, very interesting meeting. It was with a couple of ladies who were very nice and they were appointed to our district or, or some such thing um, on behalf of the Office of Civil Rights. I want to say I could be totally misinforming you about that. But anyway, there were some civil rights issues that had come up, complaints filed. And so we are receiving training. Um, and yesterday was just kind of a get to know you. It was really interesting. I always like to hear, truly, really, I do like to hear other people's points of view and other people's perspectives, I guess, is more what I'm describing. Whether or not I agree, I still enjoy hearing from different people that don't, I mean, not that these people didn't have my same point of view, but I don't really know. Um, just different perspectives, because it's interesting to me to see where people come from and how they view things. Anyway, I'm going to get going. I will see you later. Hello, end of day Thursday. We had a pretty good day, we really did. This afternoon, I had some kids that were not finished with their iReady testing, get back on and work on that. Um, but we started our choice boards and boy, they had fun, they loved it. So I was gonna show you mine, but it's gone. Somebody borrowed it and didn't give it back. So I will get it back tomorrow and show you. I am going to head out because I have a couple errands to run and 
also teammates have to leave early and you know we wouldn't want a teacher to walk out alone so we'll all walk out together so we make it to the parking lot safely if you know what I mean anyway it was a long day but it was a good day um tomorrow we're going to do more of the same we're doing our regular math lessons again <clears throat> we did our westward expansion second quiz today and then test tomorrow so it should be a breeze because they've really really had fun learning and listening and having discussions so we're going to do that quiz tomorrow i'll show you that tomorrow um if we in fact do get to it we should anyway i'll catch up with you then good morning happy friday friday it is friday it is going to be a great day i made this shirt way back in the day and I like it, I'm wearing it because it's Friday and my partner's gone. So we matched yesterday though, so that was cool. Anyway, <clears throat> I am dealing with some sort of back thing going on. I don't know what exactly, but it has localized now. It was kind of more an all over back pain, just kind of weird pain, like I just felt stiff and ouchy and now it is on my right side right there so I don't love that for me but <laughs> Archer how you doing that was a crash landing <laughs> you okay Archer <laughs> somebody's very excited wow hold please oh my gosh Archer you are hilarious so we call it her Fred Flintstone when she um, <laughs> she skids out kind of when she starts to get run in fast because we have wood floors. And so it doesn't always work out for her that time. She crash landed into the bar stools. Whoops. Anyway, I need salt. Hold please. Okay, so <laughs> that was funny. Um, today is Friday. I still have a handful of kids working to finish their diagnostic test. Um, so I allowed them yesterday afternoon to go on the computers and they were silent. They did such a great job for the people who are still working. Um, the people that are still working are, uh, I don't know when they're going to finish. They didn't make much headway yesterday that I saw. They're just not into this test and it's not easy and blah, blah. So anyway, we are going to finish hopefully that up today. Next week, I think I already told you they have the fluency part of the reading I ready test. Bye, honey, love you. And uh, they are reading with our reading specialists or Title I teacher, and that would be cool because then we're done. We're officially done. And let me just tell you, this teacher is done with capital duh. But what else? The days are long. The days are painfully long. Um, there's a, just the stress level. I don't know what it is. Is it stress? Is it me? I mean, yeah, I'm sure part of it is me. We're all just so, exa we're exhausted. The kids are exhausted. It's getting hot. It's almost 100 degrees. Um, but I think it's just when you know an end is coming, it's, you just, it's harder to focus. I don't know. I have focus issues on a good day. Bless you. But anyway, <laughs> enough about me. How are you? I hope that your Friday, whenever you're having it, is wonderful. Um, it's going to be a good day. We are enjoying the Arizona studies. They got a little confused um, because I chose, uh, to, my hair was wet and then I put it up and now it's weird. I chose to show them the compare contrast and I talked at length about comparing Arizona to another state and some of them then took that and did the state flag design for another state so I blame that on me but I'm not sure 
how to rectify that. Well, the way we rectified that is just start over. So it was no big deal. I just explained to them that Arizona is the state we're studying. So when we talk about the state bird, the state flower, the state flag, we're talking Arizona. Why am I yawning? I don't know. I'm exhausted probably. Um, I'm having an orange today. These oranges are the best. I feel like I'm making a salad. I'm using Katie's cutting board she made me. Cara Cara oranges are so good. They are delicious. They are just yum. They're like blood oranges and I needed a blood orange for a recipe a few weeks back and they didn't have any at my sprouts. And I asked what was the closest relative. And so they pointed me in the direction of the Cara Cara. Is it Cara Cara? I don't know, it's C-A-R-A, C-A-R-A, O-R-A-N-G-E. Um, anyway, should I take the whole orange? Yes, it's a whole orange kind of day. Anywho, I'm gonna get going. Um, oh, I know what I wanted to tell you. I am reading a really fun, light, clever, looking at Archer, um, Lee written book series. I'm on the second one. I'm almost done. The first one is called, I'll put them here, Finley Donald, Donovan. Yeah, Finley Donovan is killing it. Just silly. Okay, yes, it's a murder mystery, but it's funny. How, you ask? I just do try it, I tell you. Anyway, um, it's really cute. So I am now finishing the second book, which is, I don't remember, but I'll put it here. And I bought that one on Audible because I didn't want to wait the um, length of time I would have had to wait for the library one. It was like 28, 32 weeks, something like that. Same with the third one. There's three so far that I know of in this series. So the third one is here. And I'm gonna start that one today because I'm finishing. They're just cute and what I need now is a distraction from stress and this is doing the trick. So if you want a good book recommendation, there they were. Anyway, I will catch up with you later after school. Let's hope we make it. We made it, looks like we made it. I don't know how, it wasn't pretty, but we're done. Anyway, sorry, all the hands. Um, I am so tired. When I'm telling you that teaching this time of year is a struggle, I am not exaggerating. I'm not being hyperbolous. It's awful. It's really awful. The whininess, the tiredness, and that's just the teachers. <laughs> Kidding. No, they, mm, they're off the charts, man. They cannot stop talking and snitting at each other. So anyway, we had an okay day. It was really good this morning. And then it got gradually closer to the end of the day, if you know what I mean. And I think you do. Anyway, we made it. We're good. We're going to go out singing today because it is Friday. Woo! If you have watched this whole video, thank you. Please come back again next week and give this video a thumbs up and help me grow my channel by subscribing. I'll talk to you soon. Goodbye.